Hi, it's Chrissy Nelson with Not Alone Ministries. I wanted to take a few moments and share an experience that I recently had with the Lord. He's so good and He loves to give us experiences. He loves for us to encounter Him. You know, His Word says in Matthew, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and you'll find rest for your souls. And so it's amazing when He comes to us and we get to encounter Him. And that's what the presence of God is all about. And that's what the sacrifice that Jesus paid on the cross is so precious for because there's nothing that stands in the way of us encountering Him. You know, we go to Him, but He comes to us, draw near to me and all draw near to you. So today I wanna share with you an experience I had just recently with Jesus that changed everything. He's telling me, Chrissy, this is chapter one in your book that you're writing. This is chapter one in your life. This is where you start. And it's so important that I had to share it with y'all in, the, in, in this context. So please just um, close your eyes now and just listen. Uh, the Lord came to me and I, after I was really lifted back up out of this experience, uh, He had me write it down and capture the moment and He took me back through and I was able to capture it. So I want to read it as I wrote it right after it happened and I want you to come along in this journey. You know, He has a story to tell. It's His story and He invites us in. So please, Close your eyes, and Father, I just pray over each heart that's listening right now, each heart that's represented, Lord, that, that as I experienced you in this, Father, that you would just speak through the airways here, and you would just enter into the homes of the people that are watching right now, that they could experience you, that they could come along this journey with us and be a part of your story in this moment right now. I surrender this to you, Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. So I titled this, The Day Jesus Took My Hand. This is the day Jesus came into the room and took me by the hand. He said to me gently, come follow me. Naturally, I thought that meant come follow me forward into my destiny, into the plans he has for my life. But his meaning exceeded what I could comprehend. He was wanting me to follow him back, back into moments in history when he walked the earth. First, we were at the well with the Samaritan woman. I saw the well. I could see down into its depths. That is where, I, where he had me focus, down deep into, into the dark depths of the well where no bottom was in sight. I knew what was happening around me. Jesus was there, and he was talking to the woman. I could hear him. I could feel his compassion and love. I was there with them. I could feel the woman's fear as she worried about the life she had lived, dark and empty, like the well I was in. I could feel into her heart and the emptiness she felt. And then, as they talked, I could feel the waters of hope rushing in as Jesus said to her, I am the living water. Her regret and her pain tried to rise up like the pail in the well to pull from the depths of her despair all the reasons that his living water shouldn't be allowed to enter her heart. But the force was too great of his love. It was too strong. She couldn't fight it, not with her stories of all the husbands she had had, not even with the weight of the guilt she had carried on her for so long. Nothing could fight the power of the waters of his reviving and refreshing love that poured out for her in that moment. I was able to feel the deep focus Jesus had for her. She was the one. She was the only one who mattered in that moment. Her testimony would shake history. Then he brought me to the woman who touched the hem of his garment. I was there with him as he pressed through the crowd. I could feel his deep focus as he pressed through, knowing where and who he was headed toward. I could then feel the moment his focus shifted as power left from his body. Someone had touched him. Someone had drawn power from his body. Someone with the faith the size of a mustard seed that knew the power he carried. I could see through his eyes and feel through his heart as he quickly and intensely shifted his gaze down low, down to where he could find the one who had touched him. Then as he looked there on the ground, there she was, this woman, this precious woman who had a need. She needed a complete physical healing and she had gotten it. And I could feel as Jesus was determined to affirm her and the faith she had that had drawn power from his body, like drawing water from a well. I was there as he knelt down to speak those words to her that would shake all of history. My child, your faith has made you well. 
Then, knees trembling, I saw the woman on the ground as she was about to be stoned. I could feel the urgency in the heart of Jesus as he ran to protect her. She was, after all, his precious child, one of his sheep. Somehow she had gotten out of the pasture, but here he was, Jesus, the shepherd, her shepherd, and he had found her. She had almost gotten away from him, but he had gotten to her just in time to rescue her and bring her home. I could feel as the dirt stirred in the air as he lunged to her. It was heavy. It was almost getting in my eyes. There he covered her and said those incredible words that would shake history. If any of you is without sin, let him cast the first stone. No one could, and she was safe. I could feel as relief settled over Jesus. His precious child was safe in his arms. Finally, I was in the most excruciating place I could ever fathom. As I looked out, I could tell I was looking through the eyes of Jesus, the lamb being slain. I was looking out through his eyes on the cross, peering out over the land, gazing longingly down at his people, the ones crucifying him. I was there and could feel the tears welling up in his eyes as he cried out with compassion, Father, forgive them, they don't know what they're doing. I could feel the deep emotion of the lamb being slain, the pain, the agony, the remorse for his precious children who had no clue what they were doing. They were blinded by sin. They couldn't see. But then, welling up was the deepest of emotion yet. It was like a bubbling of living water. It was like the water I could feel rushing into the woman at the well. It was joy. Joy was welling up in the heart of the Lamb as he reflected on the promise of God that this act was going to tear that veil, that his people were finally going to be able to see, to see him, the Lamb, the Messiah, slain for all the world, for all the sin, for all time. Once and finally, it is finished. And then a deep relief as the pain lifted and his spirit and my spirit were taken away from this defining moment in history that now and forevermore the children of God would have a way to the Father's heart. A way was made for us to run into the Father's arms and I was free. The curse was broken and now all the world could know that Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Savior, Jesus is the Lamb of God slain from the very foundations of the earth just for you. You are His one in His story. This is the day that Jesus took my hand and walked me through His story. The day He took my hand and allowed me to feel what He felt and see what He saw. It was His story, but He let me in. And that's what He does. He lets us in. It's His story, and he's, he's, His eyes are ever combing the earth, and He's looking for the one. He's drawn to the needs of His people, His sheep, as we're in need, as we're broken. You know, Jesus came to bind up the brokenhearted and set the captives free. And so, if you're listening to this right now, and you're feeling a stirring in your heart, and maybe you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, this is your moment. This is the moment where Jesus has come to you in your living room, on your cell phone. Maybe you've, you're in traffic and you've just pulled over and you happened upon this, I don't know. But Jesus has come to you today and He's inviting you in to His story. It's your story and you and He can become one in this amazing time and season in your life. I love you and I thank you for watching this and I just pray an abundant blessing and refreshing shower over you right now as you open your heart to Jesus, the Lamb of God, your Savior and your King. Thank you.